hello and good evening welcome to my youtube channel today i will be discussing the tropical cyclones which occur in indian ocean how we name those cyclones usually whenever a cyclone comes there is always a name in media or in literature so what i will be discussing today is how we name the cyclone i will not be discussing how the cyclone is formed how the cyclone formation takes place that i will be discussing in some other video so basically before i proceed uh, this is fun to read a cyclone whenever it comes we know it in advance at least a week or two before its arrival and it has different names and uh, the cyclone has a power of uh, you know a power of a nuclear bomb and uh, when we uh, describe a cyclone it has so many things uh, into it and one important thing is the eye a cyclone has a eye as well and when a cyclone uh, comes to a land what we call the landfall it loses its energy and then dissipates so basically a tropical cyclone needs uh, uh, some conditions before it starts forming for example uh, the surface temperature of an ocean must be at least 27 degree if the surface temperature is less than 20 degree uh, 27 degree we will not have a cyclone so these these tropical cyclones they have different names in different areas of the globe for example if we see the caribbean sea these tropical cyclones are known as hurricanes while in the china they are known as typhoons and in indian ocean we call them tropical cyclones in japan they call it typhoon while in the australia they call it willy willies and in USO, usa they are known as tornadoes so these cyclones basically these tropical cyclones are having different names in different oceans of the globe so this is uh, basically a top view of a cyclone uh, it looks like this if we see a cross section and this is the cross section of a tropical cyclone there is a central part what we call eye of the cyclone and there is a low pressure in the center and winds come into uh, towards this low pressure area and then start rising this i will be discussing in some other video now if we see the distribution of these tropical cyclones they basically uh, occur between the tropic of cancer that is 23 and half north and tropic of capricorn that is 23 and half south and uh, that is uh, basically the distribution of these tropical cyclones now why we need to name a cyclone uh, here is basically a cyclone starts you know from some x location and reach thousands and thousands of kilometers away and strikes uh, to, uh, a continent uh, which is far away or sometimes a cyclone can start you know near india and it can all the way go go and hit the myanmar or it can all the way go and hit the sri lanka so likewise if a cyclone comes in the bay of in, in the arabian ocean it can all the way uh, all the way go and hit the yemen so these cyclones you know start at one place and they reach to the other place uh, and it takes time a week or two sometimes so it, Earlier there was a problem, you know, a cyclone used to get different names in different areas. For example, today if a cyclone starts from uh, this our Arabian Ocean and after one week it will, it will reach to the Pakistan. We will give a different name and Pakistan will give a different name. We will be having a different time. They will be having a different time. So this, is, this was creating a problem in, in literature. Uh, because a particular cyclone was getting different names and dates at different places. Now, if we see some of the recent cyclones, Cyclone Javad is there, Cyclone Yas is there, uh, and uh, then it came and it hit our east coast. This is the Cyclone Mocha, which went and striked in the Myanmar area. 
cyclone asani was there you see wire from it started and it hit uh, our uh, you know uh, andhra pradesh and odisha uh, area so these are some of the recent cyclones now my point is how we name these cyclones wire from the cyclone got the name yas or wire from the cyclone got its name asani that is what i will be discussing so basically we have you know regional specialized meteorological centers what we call uh, rsmcs these rsmcs are there uh, throughout the globe we have one what we call uh, rsmc delhi new delhi we have one in the tokyo we have one in the miami total we have six uh, rsmcs which are basically responsible for naming the tropical cyclones in respective oceans so in our northern indian ocean it is uh, rsmc new delhi which is responsible for naming the cyclones which come in uh, our indian ocean so uh, basically uh, if we see the wmo in its 27th session in muscat oman they agreed naming the tropical cyclones which uh, come in indian ocean earlier these tropical cyclones uh, were getting names randomly but what was needed was a systematic procedure to name these uh, tropical cyclones that was required to be put into the place so uh, so in in 2000 they agreed that uh, the tropical cyclones need to be named while we have uh, we had already a systematic naming system in place in the atlantic ocean so basically it was seen that uh, in the indian ocean be it the bay of bengal or the arabian sea the cyclones used to affect the eight countries that is the bangladesh india maldives myanmar oman pakistan sri lanka and uh, thailand these were the eight countries uh, which which were you know put into a panel and all the eight countries were supposed to suggest or supposed to propose eight names so each country will uh, each country was supposed to give the eight names and these countries were put into the alphabetical order that is bangladesh first india second maldives third and like that so this naming system actually started in 2004 so basically we have eight countries and each country gave eight names so in 2004 we had 64 names in hand so this is the complete list that started in 2004 we have bangladesh gave eight names those names are onil agni nisha giri like that then india gave its eight names like agni akash bijli jal lihar and like that likewise maldives myanmar oman pakistan sri lanka thailand all gave their names so when first uh, cyclone came in uh, 2004 the name was given as onil the name was given by bangladesh so it hardly matters where the cyclone came uh, it should be there in the indian ocean be it in the arabian sea or bay of bengal or anywhere in the indian ocean and it does not matter to which country it will strike it can strike to the oman also pakistan also india also but the name will be given by the bangladesh so then the next cyclone when it came the name will be given by india and the name will be agni and likewise so but this list came to an end in 2019 in 2019 we saw this uh, amphan was the cyclone which came in 2019 and this list got over at that time earlier uh, if you remember we had a cyclone hudhud this this created lot of destruction in uh, in in our east coast particularly uh, the andhra pradesh and and the uh, uh, odisha this cyclone came in 2014 if, if i remember it was october 2014 when the cyclone came and the cyclone created a lot of destruction in india but the name was given by the oman so people got confused that cyclone came in the east coast of india how can oman uh, give the name so basically we had a naming system a systematic naming system in place so after hudhud there was another cyclone the name was given as nilofar like that so uh, this list got over in 2019 and in 2019 the 45th uh, panel of tropical cyclones they again met in 2018 
and uh, they propose that a new list has to be prepared for naming the tropical cyclones but not only this uh, some five uh, more members were added to it because it was seen that the tropical cyclones which form in indian ocean they uh, strike these they affect these countries also there five more countries countries were added so now we had 13 countries in uh, place we have eight we had eight earlier and five more were added so total we had 13 countries now in the panel so all these 13 countries were uh, is, uh, supposed to propose the 13 names so uh, so basically they, there was a criteria the criteria was like uh, the name should be neutral it should be neutral to politics it should be neutral to religious beliefs it should be neutral to culture as well as neutral to gender so the name should not hurt the sentiments of any group of the people so th these were the criteria and the name should not be very lengthy it should be maximum eight alphabets and they were supposed to propose the pronunciation as well as the meaning of the name also and not only that but uh, the committee the committee had a right to reject uh, any name if it violates any of the rule they can reject the uh, name so in 2019 uh, now we had uh, the new list in place where we have the 13 countries starting from uh, starting in alphabetical order from bangladesh india iran and then up to the yemen we had 13 uh, countries in the panel and each country gave 13 names uh, like bangladesh gave nisarga before joy Arnob, and these were the 13 names I, I am showing 7 here and 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 are in the next slide. So these are the 13 names that were proposed by the Bangladesh. Likewise India proposed its 13 names like Gati, Tez, uh, Murasu, Ag. So these are the names given by India. So how from 2019 uh, when, the, when the first cyclone came it took the name of Nisarga. When the second cyclone uh, came, it took the name of Gati. When the third cyclone came, it took the name, name as Niwar. So accordingly, the name first cyclone name was given by Bangladesh, then India and then Iran. So now if you see recently in 2013, in, in 2023, we had a cyclone Mocha was the was the cyclone and then Bipar Jai also came in 2023 this Tez and Hamon these two cyclones came together into in October 2023 and they have a meaning also this Bipar Jai came in in the Gujarat but name was given in, given by the Bangladesh likewise this Tez was the cyclone that came started in the Indian Ocean and all the way went to the Yemen it made it is landfall in the Yemen but name was given by the India likewise this Hamun started from Bay of Bengal and it made it is landfall in the Myanmar but the name was given by the uh, Iran and they have the different different uh, very interesting meanings also this this Hamun uh, is the meaning of a forest or a marshland. Likewise, uh, this Biparjai, Biparjai in Bengali, they call Biparjai a disaster. So, like that. So, this is the list that we have presently in place and up to this Hamun. Uh, the earthquake this cyclones have come and the next cyclone which will come will be given a name of Midhili and the name will be given by Maldives. Wherever it will come, that does not matter. The name will be Midhili and the name will be given the Maldives. After Midhili, if we get a, uh, another cyclone, the name will be uh, Mikjom. This Mikjom is the pronunciation here and this name will be given by Myanmar. Even if it comes in India also, the name will be Mikjom given by the Myanmar. So this is the list. And these are the two cyclones, the recent cyclones, this cyclone, this cyclone Tez, it came on uh, 21 October 2023, it is very recent. So it started from the west coast of India, almost from the west coast of India uh, in our Arabian Sea and it all the way went and it made its landfall in the Yemen. So although it uh, striked the Yemen, but the name was given by India. The name was given as Tez as per the list which is there. Now the another cyclone came on 25th October. 
2023 very recently and it started from our bay of bengal and it all the way went and striked the myanmar and the and 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 the bangladesh uh, east and south of the bangladesh we got lot of precipitation in the eastern india so here the name was given by iran as per the list the name was hamoon it was given by the iran so now whenever we get a next cyclone whether it will come tomorrow or it will come day after tomorrow or in the next month we know the name will be midhili after that uh, the this will be the name mikjom and then rimal will be the name given to the next cyclone so list will go like that and then once this row this column gets completed then then there will be the arnab marossia and all these names will be given to the uh cyclone so this is how these tropical cyclones get their name so right now we have more than 150 names in hand so almost this list will go up to uh, i believe 2040 2045 uh, we have the list we have the naming of the cyclones thank you very much